Dero, uh, they were having a conversation last night on MLB Tonight about the Hall of Fame highways that Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt are on. And I think Harold said, hey, both of those guys are in. And I know you wanted to focus on Paul Goldschmidt right now. He has been absolutely destroying the baseball, Robert. I got a chance to go down and do 30-30 with the St. Louis Cardinals, and you walk into that clubhouse, and Nolan Arenado is who you gravitate to, and Paul Goldschmidt wants to kind of just be left alone and walk by you, and it's like you almost got to be like, hey, Paul, how you doing? He doesn't want the limelight, but his numbers suggest that he's going to have to deal with it, especially this season. So let's get into a front end real quick of how good he has been for this team in the first 40 games because he's hitting 338 with seven homers, 33 RBIs, a 403 on base percentage, and a 573 slug. So real quick, pause this. Bring up the first board and showing his since 2012. Take a look at this. Statistics since 2012 with the ranks among position players. You can make an argument that he's been the second best position player next to Mike Trout, okay? Game's third, that's, that's huge for me. You gotta be able to post, okay? Home runs, he's fifth. Ribbies, 934 second. Total bases first. War, second, okay? And after he hits this grand slam, he cut. Nolan Arenado has a chance to come on MLB tonight last night. I want you to hear the sound. When your teammates fall in love with you, this is what it sounds like. Listen to one of the game's greats talk about Goldie. To be honest with you, man, Paul Goldschmidt is one of the best players I've ever seen. I mean, I said that when I first got called up in Colorado, seeing him in Arizona. Um, he, he's unbelievable. Um, the way he goes about his business, humble, um, unbelievable teammate. Great fall. It just everything he does is right, you know what I mean? And we always give him a hard time, but uh, he, he, you know, he, he takes it well. But he's just, he's the man, man. This guy's an unbelievable player. I've never played with a smarter baseball player than Paul Goldschmidt. You know, I played with some good ones with DJ and Charlie Blackman, too low, but Goldie's up there with the best, like smartest players I've ever seen, and uh, obviously one of the best. All right, pause this real quick. He threw in great father right there. He snuck that one in. I love this. So, okay, August 2nd, 2011. Here he comes from Texas State. No one's really heard much about Paul Goldschmidt with the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm nursing a bad wrist with the San Francisco Giants. He's got Tim Lincecum on the mound. Run this real quick. This was my indoctrination to watching Paul Goldschmidt. Oh. And he proceeded to own Tim Lincecum the rest of his career, Robert. Just absolutely destroyed him. And we're all sitting on the And that's the, the height of Tim Lincecum oh, powers right there. I was sitting there. And I want you to focus on something. Run that back real quick for me. I want you to focus on how wide he is right here in his setup. Let it run. Because he nickel and dimes. He goes a little bit back and forth. I'm going to take you through some side angles. Let's go through this at bat last night off Ryan Barecki right here. Okay? Nasty stuff. Gets a call. 96. That ball's down. Paint pellet, run that back, 97. Run this pitch right here. That's a two-seamer almost mm. coming back, jamming it in there. So what's he going to do? Probably back foot slider, better execute, mm. doesn't. And we're going to get into some numbers here. He has been absolutely destroying off-speed pitches all year. The toughest thing I had uh, time doing in the big leagues was hitting a slider. You can run this. Run this at bat against Chris Bassett right here. Curveball, get me over right there. Strike one, steals one at the bottom of the zone. I want you to watch. Pause. Run that back real quick, right there. I want you to watch where Nito's asking for this pitch. 0-2, execute a little slider, kind of hybrid curveball down and away. Watch Bassett miss arm side Aye. in an 0-2 count, and you don't get it back. Tie ball game. And he's been doing it all year. Anyone can hit the high velocity. I shouldn't say that. A lot of guys can't hit the high velocity, but a lot of guys are on the heater. It's the special players that can cover everything. And that's what he's been able to do. Taiwan Walker, let me throw you in the gap. So, S-Rod, bring up what he's been doing against breaking ball real quick. This is crazy stuff. It was the hardest thing for me to do was to track heater middle away and then stay on the slider. One homer in my entire career on a slider. Could handle the change up, the curveball, the heater that didn't leave plain, but that nasty breaking ball gave me fits, and it doesn't for Paul Goldschmidt. He stays on his backside. Look at the batting average. 
418. He's slugging a 782 clip, and he's not missing it. Second highest in MLB this season. So let's go in. Has he done anything different since his time with the D-backs? He's almost gotten back, and that's why I want to focus on that Tim Lincecum side-by-side. -side. He's almost reverted back to 2011 with his setup a little bit. He was a little tighter. This is 2018. Kind of trying to be a little bit more athletic. Hands a little bit closer to his body. He's actually going to extend them a little further back in his load. So run this real quick. Run it back for me one more time. I feel like he is really working from the ground up. You hear a lot of people talk about, you know, splitting the body in half, focusing on the upper body, or focus, focusing on the lower half. He is a guy that's really sitting into this back hip right now. Real wide base, using the ground as leverage to create power. Watch the hands. He's really reaching. Pause. Run that back for me and pause it right here. Pause it, get back to right there. Stay there. See how far back his arm is? Almost, almost barring out in that situation. Run this. So everybody constantly making adjustments, always reverting back to what they did and okay. When I see Paul Goldschmidt, I think of playing against Jeff Bagwell and the numbers support it. I know Bagpipes was a guy that almost strided back, but he was a guy that used his lower half as well. The Hall of Famer and the numbers support it. Run this real quick, and we'll get out. Pretty special player, Paulie. Take a look at this. Wow. In the Hall of Fame. I mean, here's your 162 game average. You're pretty much getting Jeff Bagwell every time you play against the St. Louis Cardinals right now, okay? So you talk about being on the Hall of Fame highway, certainly, Robert. Yeah. The numbers support it.